You've heard it here first, what guys. What can we do? <laughs> 2007, I'm on a night out. Wake me place. up when August ends. Good morning, everybody. It is a very beautiful Sunday. Here's another because Sug. I'm here. Sug That's Sunday. Why it's beautiful. <laughs> I actually asked this question in my vlog the other day, but I'm interested to know what you would say. Is there a particular YouTuber that doesn't upload anymore that you wish still did? No, you upload. Me. That yeah. doesn't count. You okay. still upload. Um, <laughs> Me. Who? Anyone there's, you used to watch that doesn't? There's ones that I wish would upload more. Quite a lot of people said Jenna Marbles. Yeah, that's, that's the obvious one. Yeah. Marcus Butler. <laughs> for me. Marcus and Casper. Come on, guys. Because they're the only two that really, because Jim still uploads. Yeah. Alki obviously uploads. I upload. Marcus and Casper. Where, where are you at? Come on. Chop, chop. You've been called out. We've got we've got a we've got a uh, <coughs> ten year reunion coming up. Is it going to be ten years? Of the YouTube boy band. When's that? Next. At some point next year. <gasps> Imagine! Imagine if you just re-recorded it. Well, I think I'm gonna. I've already mentioned to Alfie. I said, look, if anyone's gonna get this going again, it's gonna be. I'm going to speak to everybody and have a chat and say, look. You've heard it here first, what guys. What can we do? What can we do to, you know, do something? To, Maybe you to... need to do another McFly song. What's the no. one that came out after that? Uh, well, look. Well, now, I, I know a few of the guys from McFly. So yeah. I'm like, we should be doing something with McFly. That would be funny. For the for the 10 years. So Tom Fletcher, if you're watching. <laughs> um can we sing your song again, but can you actually sing it with us so you're actually really good? So you're a lot better than us. Uh, uh, I wonder what they thought of that when they watched it. Uh, like, what? How has this got so many views? <laughs> Let's go and see what Diane and Otty are up to. Here we go, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, no, she doesn't need batteries, you're right. What's going on in here? She's been playing. <gasps> Who's this, Otty? <laughs> Dot! Dot! There's so but many dot dolls that. around. There's another dot doll in the ball pit. Yeah. Any yeah. any mermaid is dot. She's dot. She's so oh, clever. Oh, She's just been telling me about the alphabet. Oh. So cute. You can voice sing voice. the alphabet now, can't you? Oh, yeah. Should we show dot? You're singing. Should we sing the alphabet to dot? No. no. <laughs> oh. What about I'm a little teapot? Oh. Oh, now there's another one. Can you sing that song? Baby. Oh, there it is. Is she there? Oh, there's the little I'm baby. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Do you know that song? It's just you. Just, she's, not, she's not joining you on no. that one. <laughs> oh, who's in there? <gasps> Jojo. There's a duck in your house. Silly Jojo. He's always being silly. Let's go find him. Let's go find him, Jojo. See where he is. I think he's gone home. I think it's okay. Jojo. Where are you, Jojo? I don't think I ever liked that either. Oh, a leg and a wing. Up she oh. comes. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, good girl. <laughs> Why does Joey look like the creatures he makes? Maybe he models like them the off of himself. That he was saying the other day. Jojo's yeah. toys. Jojo's toys, she called them. You know, like the things Joe makes, the models. Those mm -hmm. ugly things he makes. She went in and she pointed at them and she was like, Jojo's, Jojo's toys. toys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. 
What have you been doing? Kick the ball. Kicking the Kicking ball? The ball? Yes. Wow! Are you having a fun time? And you oh. saw the pool as well, didn't you? Where are we going? Are you going to drag me right down there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's nap time soon. No. Yeah? Okay, show mummy you're rolling down the hill. Can you roll down the hill? No. Try and do it. See if you can do it to Diane. I'd be able to do it easy. Would you? So my granddad used to do these to us. Oh, this is a bit zoomed in. A leg and a wing, my granddad used to do it. Give me your hand. Yeah. Give me your leg. Okay, whoops. <laughs> Diane is wearing a skirt. I've got little shorts on. Oh shit, nice one, Joe. I've got this foot. That's so fun. I'm going to put that in my routine. A leg and a wing. I love that. That's we loved that fine. technical move. We've never seen it before. What a leg and a wing. Leg and a wing. <laughs> a leg and a wing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you get air? Yay. Oh. oh, no. God, you weigh more than I Jump thought. On, go, go. I feel like you and Ottie really match your colours, Joe. Yeah, you're very autumn. Very 70s, yeah. One hand, then hold my foot, Jojo's foot. <laughs> That's it. Now spin him round. Spin him round. <laughs> You're too heavy. You're too heavy. <laughs> too heavy. <laughs> Whose phone is that? Oh, that's Jojo's. Jojo's phone. Hello. Father Christmas. Are you coming this year? Oh. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'll play one to Otty. Has she been good this year? Have you been good this year? Yeah. Speak to Father Christmas. Say hello. Hey, Father Christmas, are you there? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He said, you've been very good so far. Keep it up. And you might get some presents this year. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> so I've just changed to go to our friend's uh, wedding festival. I'm wearing a, I mean, I'll show you it downstairs, but it's a dress from New Look. I actually really love it. Look at the collar, it's so cute. And then it's like just above the ankle, sort of halfway down the shin. But it's super comfortable, very floaty. You could look pregnant one minute and then not pregnant the next. It's one of those. It's like a disguisey dress, not that I need to. But I quite like the like airflow. So one of the things I noticed in, I don't know whether it was yesterday's video or the day before, so many of you wanted to see my fragrance stash. And I don't feel like this is anything I've ever shared before. It's obviously nothing like groundbreaking, but is something that I would also be interested in seeing from other people. So as I was standing here about to pick my afternoon perfume of choice, I thought I would share with you what I have in front of me right now. My makeup collection used to be about four times the size of this. <laughs> I think over the years where I've been very lucky to have been sent so many different PR packages from lots and lots of different um, perfume brands, I basically just accumulated a lot because fragrance is such a particular thing that it's like, if I smell one, I'm like, oh yeah, I love that. It just goes straight in the fragrance stash, but it didn't necessarily mean that I was really using it a lot. So I would say these now, this is all I have. I use all of these in variation. I definitely go through phases where I like one more and I will spray that a lot. I also have some that seasonally I think I wear more like maybe during autumn, I have a couple of fragrances that I like associate with that time of year. And you know, things like this that I will only ever wear in summer. Yeah, just thought I would share with you some of the fragrances. I bloody love fragrances. And for me, fragrance is a real like nostalgic, I don't know, I think fragrance can like make you feel so many things. And I'm sure the part of my memory that links things to fragrance is just like far stronger than any other sense I have. Yeah, a lot of these I'm like, oh, this reminds me of this time and I'll wear this when I wanna feel confident or I'll wear this when I wanna go to a meeting. I just feel like fragrance has a lot of stories and I love that. So let's go through. They're not the tidiest I have to say, but they're all like really easy to get to. I grab and go. Okay, so as you can see, 
This is as you walk into our bedroom. Let me just like walk in actually. So we have these double doors. We actually had this put in. This was not here when we moved in. So we had these doors put in, like these like pocket doors. And this was actually still just part of the landing here. And then this was two bedrooms. I don't know why I'm now giving you like a bedroom tour. Um, but these two doors open, ta-da, into this antique mirrors and then behind here is all like shoes this is all shoe storage and then there's this little cubby in the middle which over the years we've never really known what to put in there at the minute i just have a lot of books that i'm like dipping into or want to read and then i have my fragrances but over the years we've had like shoes there or like i don't know easy to grab bags things like that um and then obviously bedroom that side hey nala and then the dressing room that side but yes, this is where the fragrance lives. So let's start. I'm just gonna literally point out what I've got and the ones that I probably reach for more, slightly more than others. Sadiq and Voltaire, this is her. I do not have much of this left. This is a real nostalgic smell for me. Wore this a lot, I'd say about four years ago. Um, but I do still pop it on every now and then. I have a lot of Jo Malone. I've got all these little minis, which are great for travel, great to throw in your handbag. This limited edition collection that Jo Malone did of these is probably up there with one of my favorite limited edition collections they've ever done. The Tangy Rhubarb Cologne, oh, just the best smell ever. Can't get it anymore. Alfie managed to find me some for, I want to say it was Christmas or my birthday. But I use it so sparingly because I don't want it to run out. <laughs> and the elderflower one is also delicious. And then the blackberry and bay, which is an absolute Jo Malone classic for me. So I would say out of Jo Malone fragrances, my go-to is probably blackberry and bay. If it's like spring, summer, this fragrance for me is really fresh. It's really light. I love it. And then in the more winter months... This is the one I tend to reach for, which is mimosa and cardamom. It's a lot warmer, it's a lot softer. It does make me think of like cozy autumn evenings. I love it. And then I've just got wild bluebell and fig and lotus flower in the back, which I don't really reach for as much. As you can see, fig and lotus flower is pretty full. And then yeah, all the minis. This was from one of their collections actually. And I kept this one because I loved it. It's nettle and wild achillea. Moving on, we have Barbie X Lush that Mark just bought me. Haven't I actually, did I wear this yesterday? I feel like I sprayed a bit of this on yesterday. It's quite strong, it's quite sweet. There's definitely a time and a place for it, but it is so great. This is new to my collection. I treated myself the other week. Steamed Rainbow by DS and Durga. This brand have some absolutely incredible fragrances. I just bought one for my mum for her birthday and it smelled so good. I love the packaging. I love the like stories that go alongside the fragrances and this smells amazing. Erin, also love. We've got Mediterranean Honeysuckle and we've got the um, vanilla one again. This to me is like autumn days. I love it. And then this is more of a kind of like light um, spring summer scent. I don't know where I got this. I think I was sent this, but it smells so good. It's just great. It's very fresh. I really do like a fresh fragrance more than something that's like a bit heavier. Clean Reserve. They have some amazing fragrances. Very light and fresh. My favourite one is probably Warm Cotton or... What's this one? Citron Fig or Aqua Neroli. I think Warm Cotton is probably my favourite out of the Clean Reserve scents. I have a replica. This is Under the Lemon Trees. This smells amazing by Maison Mar... I can never pronounce it. Maison Margiela. And then over here is the slightly more like random fragrances. Let me just like stuck this here. Okay, so this one here is Molecule 01. I always call it Oyoyoy, oy oy, <laughs> but it's just 01. Molecule 01. Such a particular fragrance, but it smells really, really good. This bright pink back here. This, for any millennium babes, <laughs> this is Gucci Rush 2. This was my fragrance of choice as a teenager. I absolutely loved it. So I've got this for the mems and I do still spray it. It's still a fragrance that I enjoy wearing. So yeah, I love that. All right, this one that I picked up the other day, Maison Matin. Under midi, love that. I have got a floral street. This one is in Wonderland Peony. And then I've got some Kayali. I've got Love Fest Burning Cherry. I've got the Pistachio Gelato and I've got the Vanilla. And then what's this little one? Vanilla again. Obviously my little Nivea Sun. Oh, 
for any OGs. Look, this is running low actually. MAC Turquatic, again, is a fragrance that I wore a lot between the years of like 2009 to 2014, I want to say. I absolutely love it. Still use it. Nice and fresh and light. This one is a Carrie Elizabeth actually. This is Aura. And then what's this one? Beauty Pie. This is a little Beauty Pie one. This is Figure de Dalmatine. And that is a little insight into my fragrances. And I actually haven't decided which one I want to wear today. Is it weird that I want to reach for the Gucci Rush or the MAC Turquatic just for memories? Oh my god. Okay, I'm going, I'm, go I'm going Gucci Rush too. It's 2007. I'm on a night out. I'm getting ready. There's a house party happening. I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> I look so tanned. You look oh great. My gosh. I feel like mine's fading I by the minute. I look so tanned. You're still like tanned. Surely everyone today at the wedding was like, Where have they cool, been? He's got a fake tan. <laughs> Jeez. Feel healthy though. Feel. Yeah, you're going to still look like tanned when we go on holiday, I feel like. Yeah, I feel very ready. Yours is lasting tan. really well. Um, as you can see, we are home. We got home, gave Otty her dinner, and popped her down to bed. But Dave and Chloe's wedding festival was so lovely. Wait, did you film any of it? No, I didn't oh, feel like it was yeah. the right vibe to film. You know, it was like. There's a lot of people. Very special well, moments and lots of children running around, and very it just true. felt like it was their, you know, their thing. But it was so beautiful, and Chloe looked amazing, and Dave looked amazing, and. Yeah, it was just, they'd done it up so nice, hadn't they? they had, there was like a little carousel mm. for the kids to go on. That's super old fashioned. Yeah, it was so nice. Dave's basically been like renovating this wood um, farmland that he bought, I want to say like two years ago now. And it's like proper farm, farmland. And over the last year or so, he's been like renovating yeah, they've it all been for working this on moment. It. So it's so cool to see like the moment happen and see everyone there. And yeah, yeah it's like... The weather could not have been more perfect have been more for lovely. it. Like if you said farm wedding festival, whatever you've got in your mind, that was it. It was yeah, like beautiful. it was great. It was really lovely. And it was nice to like see everyone and catch up. And Otty had an amazing time as well. All the little ones together. Yeah. But we have come home, obviously, put Otty to bed. And I'm not going to lie to you. I could also crawl into bed right now. I am, so, aren't I like so done? I don't even yeah. think I've said like, this is like the most I've said since we left. I think it's just, I'm, I'm just not feeling well and I'm very tired and I know tomorrow's gonna be a busy day, but. And today was busy with a lot of people. Like, yeah. Really, a lot of catching up. People. Yeah, and I'm still kind of getting used to Sitting those. Sitting on hay bales. Scenarios, like I'm not, I, I wouldn't say my like confidence in big social situations with anxiety is like fully back to how it was. So even even though it was so lovely to be there, it was still like, I was very, I had to use a lot of like my brain power, I suppose. <laughs> I don't really know the best way to describe yeah. it. So now I'm like, <sighs> however, we did say yesterday, there was the potential of a date night. And this is because Ages ago, how long ago did we did you find these? Basically, if you've watched the vlog vlogs for years, like years, you'll know that Zoe and I have been massive fans of the band Boyce Avenue, and we've got to know the guys over the years, and yeah. we've like hung out with them, spent a bunch of time with them, seen them a good few times now. Mm -hmm. And then I saw that they were coming to Brighton, and it's one of those things where like I could WhatsApp them and let them know, but I want to support my friends. So we bought tickets super long ago. Yeah, it's like a moment we can't miss. Like our friends from America are on tour over here. They're in Brighton, like literally Brighton, it's not even London. So yeah, even though I'm just about holding on <laughs> by like a tiny thread, and if I lay down on this bed now, I know for a fact I'm not getting up. So don't let me lie down. Yeah. There's no way you're lying down. Um, we are gonna nip out, even if we just catch a few songs, and we're standing at the back, and we get to see them a little bit. Just have a little, yeah, a little shimmy side to side, a little boogie along to some of the whole yeah. hair. It's hectic. I'm just gonna pop over for a bit, so she'll sit downstairs whilst Lottie's in bed, and we can 
Let's see how long I can last. Also, can I just say one thing that's really random, nothing to do with this? Yeah. The amount of times in vlogs that we say nanny or nannies. Have you said this? No. In your vlogs. And people in the comments, because I read all the comments, think that we have multiple nannies, as in people that oh, look after Otty. No. If you ever hear us in a vlog say the word like, oh, Otty's nanny, or the nannies look after Otty, or looking after Otty, we, we mean, mean our my mum <laughs> and Zoe's mum. Maybe, maybe because in other countries they don't call their, they say like grandma or Yeah, but also grandma. I think it's because, so Zoe's mum now lives pretty close to us. Whereas before, obviously, she lived like three and a half hours away. So it's a lot easier yeah. to like see Zoe's mum now. So people are probably like, oh, the nanny is like, what, Zoe's mum? Just like popping down from three hours away to look after Otty's We should this say evening. our mums instead of, because we say it from like Otty's perspective. Like, yeah. oh, nanny's coming, or nanny's coming to sit with you. Yeah, we mean like. So we don't mean like a member of staff, like a nanny. We mean my mum and Zoe's mum. I wonder what people do call them. Not because... that there's anything wrong with having a nanny. <laughs> just thought I'd clarify it because people. I guess that is confusing. Think. I'd love to know what people call their nans because I obviously called my nanny. I called my and grandma. And then, did you? You had grandma. Mm -hmm. And then when I got older, I said nan. So it was like nanny and then nan for my nan. Yeah, someone today we were with and they were called Pop Pop. Yeah, that's like so the, cute. The Your dad called wanted Pop -Pop. to be called um, Pappy. Pappy. That never really... Just didn't really fit. It didn't stick, didn't that click. one. Yeah. So Otty calls him Dad Dad, as in like Dad's granddad. Dad. She could say everybody's name except Granddad. I can't remember what she just used to say for that. So we were like, well, let's try and make it a bit easier for her. Dad Dad? And then that was like instantly, she was like, Dad Dad. So now she knows how to say that. But yeah, I'd be interested to know what you do call your grandmothers. <laughs> you know what we need to do? What, get ready we to go? We need to get going. Yeah, Come on. Let's go. I'm just going to stay in these same clothes. Wake me up when August ends. <laughs> That's, how right. drink out. That's how I feel right now, guys. Don't, because the amount of people that are watching this, I've just been reading the comments this evening whilst Otty was eating dinner, and it actually makes me sad. People but are like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my evenings if when yeah, Vloggers ends. The amount of lovely comments I know, like, it's so sweet. Vloggers is coming to an end, I don't want Vloggers to end, and I'm like, and I although I'm ill and I am like tired right now, I'm just being honest, I'm very tired. I still want to film. Are you tired? Yeah. You haven't mentioned that today. I just want to also throw out there, I've really enjoyed doing this. I really have. Like, it's been so much fun and I just know we're going to watch back these videos and love them so much. Yeah. Um, and it's like the last I just of wish videos I didn't get ill. That are like proper, proper vlogs. Of just having one child. Before life gets really like hectic. We're not really going to do like another stint no. of just having Otty. No. Like it'll be Otty and number two. I'm enjoying um, it so much more than what I thought. I yeah. thought it would be. It's going to be strange on the 1st of September being like, oh wait, we don't have to film today. Mm. We could do another month. But we're not, we're not. Everyone in the comments. I'm joking. Yay! No, I actually shouldn't even tease that. No. I've seen a few possible. of you saying, can you do October? That's not possible. Guys, <laughs> we can't do October as well. That's not. But yeah, it has been fun. It has been fun. The amount of coughs Alfie's had to edit out. It might. I'm saying I'm the ill, and everyone's thumbs. like, there's no way she's ill because you've edited every yeah, like that's true. coughing fit out of the videos. Come on. Anyway, let's I'm saying running. it again. Let's. I'm you gonna go. take I'm this gonna, off. I'm gonna turn. I'll turn. Mum's gonna be here in a minute. I'm turning you around, pushing you into the dressing room. Okay. What are you gonna wear? You just going cozy? Yeah, leggings. Should I go more cozy? I was just gonna like literally stay in this. I can't even bother to get changed. Right, we'll see you in a minute. So 
we are driving home. We saw a good handful of absolute bangers and they were so good. Like I just can't explain, like his voice is just, what did I say it was like? Just like butter. Spreadable butter. It's yes. like, I don't think he could ever, even if he tried, I don't think he could sing us like a, a note, note wrong. wrong. But it's also it's, so effortless. Like yeah. when you watch like any of them singing, like you're just like, God, that is one talented family. They can Imagine. all play the instruments and they're all switching up all the different instruments. They can all sing. They can all sing. Oh, that's going to be Otty and her all. sister one day. Hope Start so. their own band. Oh, that'd be so cute. Um, they're just traveling the world, three brothers, that must living be the so life. Fun. So lovely. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we did that. That was really nice. I'm glad we got to see them. And now we're heading home and I'm going to roll into bed and Alfie's going to edit. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? He just nearly got hit by a bike. And get ready for tomorrow. We need to feel good. We need to get good Energized and refreshed. We need optimum everything. Yeah. Because we've got a lot to do tomorrow morning. I think it's definitely doable. But there is a lot to do. Yeah. To get everything in the shape that we want for the party in the afternoon. I'm Yo, excited. Yo, by the time though. people are watching this vlog, the party's, party's done. already finished. The party's done. Whoa. And it's over. I um, don't know how much of the actual party we will film because we want to be in the moment. We want to enjoy it. And obviously, there's lots of children. And I just kind of feel we'll like. Just see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll probably get a few little snippets but we can always do a little party debrief. We can film little bits, setting it up. Yeah, you also do need to make Otty's birthday present tomorrow evening once everyone's gone home. Yeah. Because Otty's actual birthday is on Tuesday, so the party is a day before her birthday. Ooh, what's going on here? Everyone's driving a bit funky yeah. tonight. Must I don't know what's happening. Sunday Ooh. evening. So yeah, there's a lot to do tomorrow. But I think it's going to be a really nice, exciting day. And I think most importantly, Otty is just going to absolutely love it. And I can't wait to see her little face. She knows she it's her party. Me. Oh, she definitely knows. She Doesn't keeps she? Just telling me. She's like, Daddy, ice lollies tomorrow. Ten yeah. ice lollies. Because I asked her how many does she want. She told me she wants ten ice lollies tomorrow. She just loves an ice lolly. I don't know if she's going to get ten, but we have got an ice cream van. So, I wonder what she she'll pick. Couple. What will she pick from the ice cream van? Just the biggest, most covered in everything. Also, the party is like in the afternoon. So all these kids are gonna have an ice cream. Pizza. And pizza, like an hour before their bedtime. Bedtime. <laughs> but the good thing is, they're not all kid. staying at our house. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving them an ice cream and sending them on their way. All right, thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. As always, really appreciate a little thumbs up. Let's we'll see how many we can get. Just appreciate you being here and watching. see if we can watching. make it the most thumbs up vlogmas. Vlogmas? Vlogmas? <laughs> how many times have we called it vlogmas? Vlogmas so far. But yeah, we really appreciate everybody that tunes in every day and says like you know it's the highlight of their day and they don't know what they're gonna do when this in when when this ends that's really nice to know that you love it so much and we've also got a couple of very good vlogs coming up before vloggers ends yes there's some there's some one goodies. in particular that you are gonna love i think i think they will really like it it ends on quite a finale i'll just i'll put it that way but yeah thanks so much guys good night